A new Pokemon Snap trailer has just dropped and it's apparently amazing. We're gonna take a look and update you on all the Pokemon news. Let's do it. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today and today we're diving into the world of Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Unite news and everything in between so get yourselves ready destroy that like button down below and of course Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I do post Pokemon videos every single day And you don't want to miss out as snap is coming out very soon We're gonna be doing all that coverage here on YouTube as well as our twitch live streams now I told you guys a couple different things here. Let's just jump into it first things first is uh, we actually have my, my buddy Bex hit me up and said hey listen Pokemon has indeed uploaded the code of conduct for Unite to their website and as you can see from the screenshot here it was updated 40 minutes ago so this is some breaking news here they have a code of conduct for Pokemon Unite basically saying you can't cheat you can't use unauthorized technology you have to use proper communication and behavior you can't stalk abuse harass etc pretty standard stuff and you might be like well what does this have to do with anything well the reality of it is this if there's a code of conduct that just gets updated then that's something that tells us that the game is coming sooner and sooner there's also a page updated two hours ago that the unite regional beta test has ended the game is not accessible anymore so we're just waiting to find out what's going on with pokemon unite for those who don't know the last update was march 15th was when the canadian beta ended we haven't heard anything since i do expect an announcement at this point that there will be an announcement and then unite drops so keep an eye out keep it glued to the channel one more reason to be subscribed right here next thing is serebi.net reports on the fact that there is a special distribution for a dream ball if you want to grab it it's just dream big pc3 with uh, with a one and a three instead so dream big pc3 we'll have the screenshot here from serebi and this is until the 12th so you have until tomorrow to grab this uh this is just for a dream ball if you're still playing sword and shield looking for that obviously the player cup three is going on this weekend so that's why they're celebrating this now we're gonna jump into the pokemon snap stuff here there's a, a pretty long trailer that i'm excited to look at i actually haven't looked at it myself i wanted to kind of react to it with you guys but before i do that i want to tell you guys something very very important and that is that my g fuel flavor shiny splash is officially restocked at the time of this video going up for those who don't know i have my own flavor this is blueberry lemonade or shiny splash representative of the pokemon brand of course and it's only got 15 calories zero sugar a great blend of vitamins and antioxidants that'll keep you fueled throughout the day it does have caffeine so i recommend 18 and up for it but it's an energy drink right it's a powder you mix with water i legitimately drink this stuff every day i'm not even kidding and i guarantee you that you will enjoy it well i can't guarantee it but i'm sure you will we sold out back in january we have been sold out for three months and it is finally back in stock today the day this video goes up so go grab it we sold out for a reason guys not every flavor sells out we legit sold out for a reason people love it if you like it vouch in the comments so people know to grab it but you can go to gfield.com use my discount code code a drive which is only 30 percent off for the next two days so make sure you guys get that discount it comes out to less than a dollar a serving it tastes so good guys i'm telling you the perfect summer drink super refreshing super smooth blueberry lemonade and if you're not a big fan of blueberries or lemons you gotta try it. I'm telling you, man, it really is the perfect blend of blueberry lemonade. So check out Shiny Splash, available now. I'll have a link in the description, but you can go to gfuel.ly slash adrive, all lowercase. That'll also take you there and auto-apply my code. Code adrive for a discount. Let's look at Pokemon Snap. Grab some G Fuel. Grab some Shiny Splash. Seriously, we've been waiting three months for this to get back in stock. It really is that good. All right, so here's the trailer. I'm actually gonna play it muted because it is in Japanese, but what's interesting is this was uploaded to the American... Uh, YouTube channel and it is the official new Pokemon snap PV rent uh, rental region snap guide I think it's supposed to be lentil region. I wonder if they actually have a typo in the title I'm not even kidding if you scroll down. It says rental region. I don't know, but anyway, let's get started I have not seen this footage yet, and I'm very excited, but it is the lentil region So they legitimately have a, a typo in their title unless they just messed up I don't know, but it looks like it shows some different biomes here the desert the jungle the forest So it seems as though which makes sense the ocean that this game is going to be broken out into different parts of the map that have different Pokemon that you would otherwise find. We see a bunch of different things, story, and then a couple other things. But here is the main character, obviously, as you play as you can play as a, a male or a female, of course. And there's the professor and kind of his assistant taking some pictures of Pikachu. There's a shift tree. I love that Lycan Rock photo. That looks incredible, dude. It honestly looks so good. And again, there's no closed captions or anything, so I don't have any sort of insight as to what the text is saying, but I thought it'd be really fun to look at some of the visuals. So you get this cool little car that you can drive through the different tracks. One thing is that the tracks have different, um, 
that you could go different ways so there's a ton of replayability on the map there's the eight palms running across the tree that is very cool and as you play through the game um and you kind of level up more pokemon will appear throughout the game you can interact with the pokemon in different ways by throwing different items at them and ultimately get them to act in different ways there's interactivity between pokemon so you could have two different species of pokemon and they can interact together but this is so much gameplay that we haven't seen there's a shift tree running across very very murky very cool there's a beautiful and a slacking hanging out yo that's a sick picture dude Torchic eating an apple this game looks beautiful and one thing i was going to touch on and i'll address right now is the file size was revealed for this game there's my my best friend today the file size was revealed for this game as about i believe 7.1 gigabytes for comparison sword and shield is 9.5 gigabytes i don't think the file size is the end all be all though i feel like it's one of those things where like you know they can deal with compression they can reuse a lot of assets and stuff like that so there's not i don't think the file size is really like a, a telltale sight of how much content is in the game so i mean sword and shield is a, a good amount of content there's an aria dose with some did it trap those little bone sweets oh my god it really trapped those little okay we got some swanas and some ducklets i for one i'm very excited about this game like i'm curious how you guys feel about it my biggest concern is that it's a game i'll play for like 12 hours and then i won't want to play it again that that's my genuine honest concern but keep an eye out we are going to be playing through the original snap on the channel in the next few weeks i'm going to time that out it's probably going to be like just a few parts like maybe two or three parts so viper look at that see the octillery shot ink at the Viper and and got it to fly away and that's one of those instances of like Again, you can have these different interactions by doing different things. You can throw these items at Pokemon. You can get them to react different ways. There's some more lols. Uh, this looks like a very similar path to kind of one of the initial paths that we saw. There's a... What is that? Squirtle? Blastoise. I thought it was Blastoise. Pinsir in the sand? With a... Why is Pinsir in the desert? And there was a Flygon floating above it. So I think we've seen Pinsir in multiple locations now. What is that? There's a flying piece of rock. There's an Eevee, of course. You knew Eevee was going to be in the game. Like, we knew that, right? We knew Eevee was going to be in the game. And you, you see the different interactions. Sobble and Sobble watering Venusaur. Dude, this is going to be beautiful, man. This game is going to be beautiful. I just hope there's a Heracross in the back flying away. And there's a Pidgeot grabbing a Magikarp. Then they're going to do the Illuma Phenomena. There's the Cloyster snapping its little claw floating. Dude, I, I've always been such a fan of seeing Pokemon in like their natural environment. And seeing them out of the context of the video game. Because I feel like the video game is the primary way that I do Pokemon stuff. And sometimes you lose a little bit of life. You, you know what I'm saying? Some of those 3D models can be kind of static. And they really they really lose a little bit of flair there. But uh, there's Lamp, of course. Little Chinchou and Lantern sleeping. Looking super cute. Vivion's Bufalance. There's a Grookey and a Dodrio hanging out. And, oh man, I'm just so excited. But again, I, I mentioned this. This is a good example of like more pokemon spawning as you kind of pro progress through the game so playing through the same map does have some replayability i know that the original snap you can beat in like four or five to four or five hours like it's not even that long of a game so i do wonder how long this game is going to be is this going to be an experience that is 10 hours is an experience that's five hours is an experience that's 20 hours are there shinies in this game are we going to be able to hunt, hunt shinies basically right because if you tell me that each pokemon that spawns in is like a one in a thousand chance to be shiny and i could just reset this map over and over again to try to get a shiny picture that's a game changer to me that's a massive game changer because that adds a lot of replayability to the game and i don't feel like it's a lot of extra work from the creators right just adding the shiny models in give them a small chance to pop up and they'll function the same way but just with shiny sparkles i guess but up oh, just whack that <laughs> <laughs> that Pidgeot on the arm, he just says, uh, see you later. Marine, oh no! They really have the Marinis chasing the Corsola. That is, that is just not even, <laughs> that's not even fair. And then, of course, you can dress up all the Pokemon with the photos. That part doesn't really appeal to me, I'll be honest. Like, I'm not all that interested in, you know, adding little accessories to my Pokemon, but that's just me. That's a really nice picture of Pikachu. Pikachu's very happy. I think that there's going to be some really funny content being shared on the internet the first couple days after snap comes out much like when pokemon go first came out there was a dedene sleeping on top of the car that's funny when pokemon go first came out there was a lot of viral kind of memes and images and stuff i have a feeling that snap is gonna have a similar vibe so if you're someone who's a little wizard and you want to have your graduation cap beware which i think is a funny picture that is kind of funny that is that is entertaining i would say uh get your game go why does he have a teardrop who did he who did he make faint um <laughs> pseudo wudo is happy they're showing off some of the different things uh luminion my least favorite pokemon chilling there and uh looks like 
we're pretty much getting to the end. You got the different picture options here. Lycanroc uh, Knight's form looking really cool. Um, and you could save them. You could upload them. You could do a lot of different things. So overall, my take on Snap right now is very optimistic. I'm very excited about it. I'm really hopeful that it has a lot of replayability. Cautiously optimistic. At the very least, I feel like I'm going to have a fun game experience for 10 hours or so. Um, I would say at the very least and the very positive it turns into a 50 hour grind and we get to grind out for shinies and all sorts of fun stuff Whoa, that flygon looks amazing. Oh my god. That had to be one of my favorite shots. The Lisa pod on Bro, they really said you can get a Lugia and they're showing all the different Pokemon you can get and new Pokemon snap is looking to be Super fire guys. We're just a few weeks away and you guys already know I have something really really big planned for Pokemon snap So get excited for that and keep an eye and ear out on the channel Make sure you guys subscribe and show the love by hitting the like button down below I hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction to this new snap trailer. Sorry that we couldn't have audio again It was only in Japanese so unfortunately we'll have to see if they come out with an English one But again uploaded to the English channel, so I'm not really sure what's up with that But either way lots of great gameplay footage and just a few weeks away from new Pokemon Snap. Kind of the first real chapter of Pokemon 25 of us getting to play some new content. And again, we talked to Unite earlier. Unite, right around the corner. Could be any day now. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget, pick up some G Fuel, guys. I, I this, this video was not meant to be like a straight up ad. I'm just honestly really excited that my flavor is back in stock. This is a really big deal. If you are a supporter of the A-Drive Army, you just gotta trust. You gotta trust it. This flavor is that good. I'm not even, I'm not even lying. This is a serious statement. It really is that good. And I'm so passionate about this. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. We have our own flavor. Check it out if you missed out or restock is your chance now. Code ADROP gets you 30% off. That's a deal. Restocked. Gfuel.ly slash ADROP all lowercase or just go to gfuel.com. Search Shiny Splash. Type in my code code ADROP to receive a discount and you're good to go. Enjoy it. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. And thank you guys again for all the support. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Shout out to my giant butterfree by the way. How sick is that?